Installing the universal three bolt mount disposal is simple and can be completed in minutes. Be sure to reference the owner's manual for installation instructions before beginning. If you are not familiar with plumbing or electrical procedures, please contact a qualified professional for further assistance. To begin, first disassemble the sink flange assembly from the disposer by turning the lower mounting ring clockwise until it releases and lift the entire hardware assembly from the disposer. Next. Loosen the three screws from the upper mounting ring and slide it towards the support flange. Then, insert a flat blade screwdriver under the snap ring and remove it. Now, separate the upper mounting ring and support flange from the sink flange. Next, we'll install the sink flange. Roll plumber's putty in a 3 8 inch thick rope. Turn the sink flange upside down and apply around the bottom of the flange. If you're doing a replacement, make sure the mounting surface above and below the sink is clean of debris. Now, install the sink flange into the sink opening by pressing it in firmly. Place a towel over the sink bottom and flange and weigh the flange down to hold it in place while you add the other mounting components. To install the under sink mounting hardware, First, assemble together the support flange, fiber gasket, and upper mounting ring onto the lower sink flange. From underneath the sink, secure the assembly in place on the sink flange by inserting the snap ring into the sink flange snap groove. Important: Make sure the snap ring is secured into place in the snap groove. If the snap ring is not secured in the snap groove, trapping the assembled parts in place, then the disposer cannot be properly installed. Next, tighten the three upper mounting ring screws into the support flange. If you are connecting to a dishwasher, complete this next step. If a dishwasher is not to be connected, skip ahead to attach the discharge elbow section and continue. Set the disposer on the floor. Place it on its side on a protected surface. Use a blunt instrument, steel punch, or wooden dowel to knock out the entire dishwasher discharge plug. Do not use a screwdriver or a sharp instrument. When the knockout plug falls into the disposer, you may remove it or simply grind it up when the disposer is used. This will not damage the disposer in any way, but may take some time to grind over the course of several uses. If you are installing on a single sink, you will want to attach the discharge elbow. Slide the discharge flange and then the discharge gasket onto the discharge elbow. Insert the discharge elbow and gasket into the disposer discharge outlet and attach the flange assembly to the disposer with the two screws. Some installations may require a straight pipe or flexible drain pipe connection. Consult a licensed plumber as needed. For a double sink, you will use the existing plumbing. Now we are ready to mount the disposer. But before performing this step, read the installation instructions completely to understand how the disposer is mounted. First, apply a small amount of liquid soap onto the bottom of the cushion mount and to the bottom of the lower mounting ring to aid in sliding and rotation on the upper mounting ring. Then, seat the cushion mount onto the top ring of the disposer. You can now connect your garbage disposal to plumbing. Turn the disposer until the disposer lines up with the outlet drain pipe. Next, lift and prop the disposer into place on the upper mounting ring. Mount it by turning the lower mounting ring until its tabs engage onto the slide ramps of the upper mounting ring and turn until snug. Insert a screwdriver into a lower hook and leverage it counterclockwise further into place. Use channel lock pliers to fully lock the lower mounting ring tabs onto the upper sliding ramps. When it locks up tight, your new disposer is now in place. Securely connect all plumbing, including the drain pipe and the dishwasher drain if used, observing all codes and ordinances. Next, connect the flexible drain hose to the dishwasher discharge using a hose clamp. If the hose size is different, you will need a stepped rubber adapter. 
See the installation instructions that came with your dishwasher for details. Lastly, you can remove the excess plumber's putty from the sink. Install the splash guard and stopper. Press the splash guard into place in the sink flange and insert the stopper over the splash guard. Now, let's connect power and test for leaks. This unit comes with a power cord with plug. Simply plug the disposer into an outlet that is properly installed and grounded in accordance with all local codes and ordinances. If your unit requires hard wiring, consult a qualified professional to complete installation. Now, test your disposer by running water and checking for leaks. Keep and refer to this owner's manual for proper use and care of this disposer.